So hi everyone, these are the nails I promised you. I did a little poll on my Facebook group and these are the ones you wanted to see edited first. So this is down on my regular lady. Um, you've all probably come to know her by now. Um, you don't need to comment on the nail separation or discoloration, yada yada yada. She has psoriasis and I have full agreement and consent from her both GP and specialist at the hospital to put nails on her. So no need to comment on that. So I have filed down her previous set, down to a very thin, clear base. As you can see, her natural nails are growing really nice and long with the um, help with that nice armour of the acrylic. And I'm starting off on the little finger. I've placed a thin, clear base down and then I'm applying this super fine glitter, which is Summer Breeze from the Summer Mixes collection. Then moving on to the ring finger. And I'm applying that thin clear base again. And then I'm gonna come in with that super fine again, just to make that base. As you can see with these super fine glitters, a very little amount goes a very long way. I'm then using my wet brush to pick up some crystal chameleon flakes in Agate and just dab them into the wet layer. And then I'm going to use some of the chameleon flakes in Electo and just popping them on top too. And on this nail, I'm coming in with, I can't remember what cover pink I used. Peach Parfait, had a bit of a mind block there. So I'm using Peach Parfait from the Cuticle Area Blending Down. And then I'm going to come in with the Summer Mix of Summer Breeze. So I'm just putting a little bit of clear on, then using a bead of clear acrylic, dabbing it into that glitter and then placing it on that now. And then I'm just gonna push that around until I've got a nice faded tip with these nice bright and bold holographic butterflies. And then on this finger, I'm going to do the same as I did on the ring finger. So I want to make a base of that super fine glitter. And then I'm going to dab in some chameleon and crystal chameleon flakes in the Electo and Agate. When I finish doing all of the design, I'm going to come back to that first nail, placing my bead of clear acrylic down, pushing back towards that cuticle area, and then I'm just going to pull that down. And this is where I'm going to really think about the shape and structure and make sure I've got the strength needed in these nails as I cap all that glitter, making sure all the glitter goes nice and matte so I know that it's all been encapsulated with acrylic. So 
So now they're all filed in and finished, I'm just applying top coat first of all to that pinky finger. How shiny is that super fine? So I'm going to cure that top coat for 60 seconds and then I'm going to apply my white chrome. So on top of that tack free top gloss, when it's nice and warm out of the lamp I'm just rubbing in this white chrome. And this just adds just another dimension, makes it super shiny, but just gives it a chromish finish. I'm going to dust off any excess powder, and then I'm going to double top coat this. So the first top coat I will cure for 30 seconds, so it's not 100% cured, and still a little bit sticky. Um, and then that will allow the second layer to stick to adhere to it properly. And then that second coat I will cure for 60 seconds. As you can see, it just adds that chrome finish over the top. And now that's all done, I'm going to come in and I'm going to add my butterfly wing design. Now every year this customer has um, some butterfly wings done. We normally we do a full set, um, I've done loads of different things, super fines, pigments, flakes. So this year I wanted to do just a couple of nails with butterflies, some with glitter and some with other things going on. So I'm just going to use some of my Accents Gel Play Gel and I'm just going to create the butterfly wings. So I'm going to first off start with doing an outline. Once that outline's done, I'm going to start doing the lines from the outside up to a central point. So I normally do it into a corner of the nail. And because I've got two nails on this hand, I want them to be facing like in together. So the other nail, I will put it up into the opposite corner. That will all make sense. I'm not very good at describing it. So I'm just going to finish adding in a few lines. So here I'm going to do it on the other hand and mirror image it.
So once I'm happy with all those, I'm going to pop them in the lamp and cure for 60 seconds. Remember, you don't have to do it all in one go like that. You can cure as you go along, which is why I use a art gel. And then I'm coming in with my dotting tool into the white gel, and I'm just adding little white dots along those lines and in the corners of the lines. And then I cured those again for 60 seconds and then I'm coming in with my top gloss. And as you can see those chameleon and crystal chameleon flakes have made a really nice depth in that nail. So the light's really going to catch and make them look very magical, magical fairy butterfly wings. And when they're all cured and I've given them a chance to cool down, I'm just coming in with some of this lovely peach cuticle oil from HD Pro Nails as well. The peach and the cherry drops. Oh, no words. They smell amazing. And just rubbing that in. And then we have the final set. So there we go, guys. These are my butterfly nails I have done for one of my regulars. Um, that time of year again always has a butterfly set. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. And until next time, bye.